Now, signs of trigonometric ratios. Keep in mind that when we count quadrants, we count in the anti-clockwise direction. So this is the first quadrant, the second quadrant, the third quadrant, and the fourth quadrant. In the first quadrant, all um, the ratios, sine, cosine, and tangents are positive. So we use the letter A, which symbolizes all of them are positive. In the second quadrant, only the sine ratio is positive. So that's why we symbolize this by labeling as the letter S. In the third quadrant, only the tangent ratio is positive. And cosine and sine are both negative, so we label these as letter T. Um, in the fourth quadrant, only the cosine ratio is positive, and both sine and tangent ratios are negative, so we label this as C means in this quadrant only the cosine ratio is positive. Okay, at school you may have learned this as all station to central, but I like to call it as all station to Cabramatta, or you can call it all stations to Kemsey, whichever suburb that you live in that starts with the letter C. Okay, as you can see, we can apply what we have just learned in this question, which is question 4 of the HSC 2007. Now let's have a look at how to solve this. So we have root 2 sine x equal to 1. The first thing you would do is make sine x the subject, so you need to divide both sides by root 2. So you will have sine x equal to 1 over root 2. Now you can see that sine x equal to 1 over root 2 is a positive ratio. So you quickly draw your quadrants and label them for stations who can matter. So we have A and S. Since it's positive, the sine ratio lies in the first two quadrants. So you can see that to solve this, you will take the inverse sine of 1 over root 2, which lies in the first quadrant, which is pi of 4, and for the second quadrant, you use pi to minus pi of 4. And finally, you have pi on 4 and 3 pi on 4 as your final answer.